morning everybody. This is your favorite MS4 coordinator Rick Brown. Today we're going to be talking about a term called a forbay. A forbay is, to make it simple, it's a smaller body of water in front of a larger body of water. And um, it got its name in 1770 when, some, when people would take the, the ditch water going along and they would reroute it so it could turn a great big wheel and it could they could make bread or they could do whatever things and then it would go back in okay so they would reroute it and then it would go back in that's kind of what we're going to be talking about today a smaller pond rerouting it from a smaller pond to a bigger pond and there's various things that can happen with that and very good things for uh, ms4 and keeping our water water quality better some of the advantages and benefits are that smaller pond area provides um, slowing the water down and the sediment and stuff can fall out of it. So it's kind of like a little bit of a pre-treatment making the water quality better as it goes to the larger body of water. It also slows velocity down um, from, this, from storm water and rains going into this area, slows it down before it goes to the larger area. It's also uh, easily um, accessible when you're going to build them you want to make it where you can get to it and so you can repair it and um, you know it's just easily accessible and then they also have a, a long long longevity life so to speak um, if you build it properly and you maintain it properly it's also relatively inexpensive compared to other BMPs BMP being best management practice these little ponds hold the water so there's a greater detention or holding time than uh, other types of BMPs. Now here's some of the disadvantages of sediment for base. It removes only coarse sediment items. There's no removal of the soluble pollutants. It, re it provides no direct recharge to ground stormwater. No control is what the books say of volume runoff, but uh, that can be done mathematically where you can get it really pretty accurate. And frequent maintenance is essential. Now we're going to get into whys, the pollutant removal efficiency of a forbay. Total suspended solids, 25% removal. Nutrients are nitrogen and phosphorus. Metals that are in our storm water running across things, um, cadmium and, and other metals, they're kind of held in this little pond so it doesn't go out into the bigger lake, so to speak. That's good too. And pathogens that are held are um, E. coli is probably one of the biggest ones. We all see geese and ducks on our lakes. So uh, these little detention forebays uh, can also reduce that. Now we're going to talk a little bit about the maintenance of these forebays. The forebays are going to require um, a lot of inspections because of the plants and everything that are going to want to grow in it and sometimes those are that's a good thing i may explain something about that later but you have to inspect it you can't we try to keep it clean as we can depending on the size of your four bay uh, it sounds like the rule of thumb is that we should you know inspect it clean it once a quarter and whatever the depth of sediment or the fallout um, is you know three feet or more mass deps requires a four bay as pretreatment before discharging to a dry extended retention basin, wet basin, constructed stormwater wetlands, or an infiltration basin. Mass EPs use the term sediment forebay or BMPs used to pretreat stormwater after construction and the site is stabilized. Also a term used called sediment trap that refers to our BMPs used for erosion and sedimentation control during construction. So here is a little picture of you can see the little pond area. That is our forebay. Water goes into that and sediment and stuff settles out, pollutants settle out, and then it overtops or through various infrastructures goes into the larger body of water behind it. And then I also had, if you want to, I had this kind of you want to show them? Yeah. It's black and white, doesn't have color. I, I had this too. That's funny. Yeah. All right. 
Okay, so I kind of showed you a picture of it. Now I'm going to kind of, if I can, show you this. This is, right up here, is our little forebay. Water going into the forebay and stuff settles out, sediment settles out and it goes through these rocks in this particular case and it also gets additional filtration and goes into the larger body of water. So this this little area is where the water goes and, you, and the bad things kind of settle to the bottom and that's why once a quarter you should clean it and that kind of stuff. And this is like if you took a knife and just cut it right through that. This is a section view of that same thing. Here's the little pond, here's the stone, and then here's the larger body of water. Kind of a fast little uh, program here this morning. Uh, we have one that we've started uh, in town here. and It's so-so, it's but we're going to be working on it a little more uh, on one of our lakes called Stone Lake across from the Hearing Center, you can see where they put the new walkway, and there's like a little four bay there just before it. Um, we have to do a little more work on it and stuff, but that's gonna be the same kind of practice. And remember, only you guys can help us keep our stormwater clean. Hit that little red button and become a subscriber. So, a little technical this morning, but um, either way, just some more information of what MS4 does and things that we do. Thank you very much, everybody have a great day.